How to establish your brand identity. When starting a business, you need to think about how to establish your brand. You see, your brand is what drives your business, a set of promises and assurances that customers should think of when they see or hear your name. It's your unique identity that resonates with your target audience and differentiates you from your competitors. With the correct strategy, your brand will gain in value over time. This value will come from the positive reputation that your business develops. Brand establishment should be considered as a long-term goal and essential to your overall business strategy. The following tips will help you consider how to establish your brand. Establish your brand strategy. The first step is to establish your brand strategy. This should be considered right at the beginning when you come up with your business idea and should be kept in mind as your business develops. As part of the strategy, ask yourself, what are the promises I want associated with my brand and how can I ensure my brand becomes a reflection of these promises? Also consider what you want your brand identifier, a word, logo or both, to stand for. Over time, your brand strategy will need to be reviewed as your business develops. It's probably not worth spending a lot of money on designs in these early days. Search your brand name. Once you have the basis of your brand strategy, you can then take steps to clear your chosen name for use. A good starting point is to carry out an internet search for the name. If you find a business using the same name or something very similar, this may cause problems from a trademark perspective. So once you have a name that you think may be available, you should definitely consider having a final check by a trademark lawyer and get a legal opinion on the name. They can carry out comprehensive searches. So even on an international level, you know, you should ensure that your chosen name is available for use and stands the best chance of being registered as a trademark. Trademark your name. Now your brand name is an intangible asset and one of the most valuable assets your business will own. When you've chosen your brand name and cleared it for use through a trademark search, it's essential to protect it through trademark registration. Registration will help secure the rights in the name and the goodwill that your business generates, increasing the overall value of your brand. Trademarks are split into 45 categories or classes of goods and services. This means a name can be used even if it's already registered. There is no overlap um, between goods and services. So if there is, then you can't use it. A specialist should be used to draft your trademark. Um, this will ensure that you're not faced with a worthless trademark or are subject to legal disputes later down the line. Apply your trademark. Now, once you have secured protection for your name, you can then start to apply your trademark as your brand identifier. When applying your trademark to your business, you need to remember that this is what consumers will associate with your brand. So avoid anything which may reflect negatively on your business. Remember, once your trademark is registered, you can use the R in a um, circle symbol so that competitors know that you have a registered trademark. Build your brand. As you start to apply your brand to your goods and services, the reputation and goodwill behind the brand will start to gain momentum. This is the time to start building on your brand awareness, promoting the benefits of your business over that of your competitors. 
The sooner you build on the reputation and recognition of your brand, the quicker your brand will gain value. Learn what works. It's important to constantly monitor how customers perceive your brand and whether this perception aligns with your brand strategy. Once your business has been running for some time, this is the point when you may want to revisit your strategy and learn what works, what didn't work, and the next steps involved in improving your brand and securing additional intellectual property protection, such as for a tagline. So remember the lessons you've learned from past experiences. Improve your brand. You know, complacency can be dangerous and may actually damage the reputation of your brand. As a business, you will need to constantly improve your brand to stay competitive in the market. As you've learned what works, this is a good time to review your brand strategy and consider what improvements can be made. Perhaps the business can offer more competitive pricing or the quality of your products has improved, in which case, these factors need to be communicated to your customers so that they become associated with your business. Secure your IP. Now, you have an established brand and a reputation to protect. This is a good stage to carry out an IP audit, an IP risks test, to see what other rights your business should protect. Since establishing the brand name, there may be a host of other rights which have accrued and should now be protected. Consider, does my trademark still cover all the goods and services that the business offers? Has my business expanded into other countries? Are there any other names, slogans or logos which are now associated with my business? Are there any dominant names I should consider registering? Domain names, sorry. Are there any innovations to protect? And are there rights in your IP that you could develop to increase the value of your brand and ultimately your business? Has it worked? Finally, consider has your brand strategy worked and does it align with your original intentions for the business? If your strategy was to create a promise of low cost, good quality, does your brand reflect this? And is this what customers associate with your brand name? Having a strong brand strategy and good knowledge of brand protection will help ensure the success of your next product launch, business idea, or even just help continue building on the value of your current brand.